Hey, welcome back design students. Um, let's go ahead and uh, create a project folder for this. Remember to do that, we go to File, Project, Create Default, and I'm going to put my project in my Documents folder, and I'm going to create a new folder for it, call it Create, and push Enter, and then I'm going to make sure that folder is selected, and click Select Folder. Now that I've done that, I'm going to save my project my scene file in my project folder. Now that we've done that, let's create some materials. I've provided some textures for you on the D drive of your computer, so we'll be using those. So let's open the material editor, and we're going to start with the physical material. And we're going to go ahead and zero out the reflections here by right clicking on the spinner, and we're going to make the roughness one, just so we don't have to think about that. And then what we're going to do is drag off of the base color node, click your left mouse button and drag, let go, and select General, Bitmap, and find on the D drive the textures folder, and there's a folder called Crate. In there are several textures that we're going to use. Uh, they also have normal maps, which we'll talk about in just a minute. We'll go ahead and click one of them, make sure you notice which one it is. This is the uh, 273. Two. click open and then um, we're going to add the normal map to the material. What the normal map does is it makes the mesh look more 3D by using a little trick of the light. It's not really 3D but it sort of looks that way because of the light and the shade. So we're going to go down to the bump map node right here, click and drag off of it, go to general, normal bump and this interprets the normal map into uh, 3D Max material structure. And then we're going to drag off of the normal node, general bitmap, and select the normal map that goes with the texture that we select. But this is 073-2 and this is 073-2 normal. So click that and now we have a normal map. Let's name this Create 01 and push enter. And now let's go ahead and apply this to the inner cube. So click the inner cube and take the output node, drag it, and drop it onto the inner cube. And if we expand this viewport, Alt W, you can see that that looks just exactly like it should. That's what's called a happy accident. And now let's create a material, use a different material for this outer frame. So I'm going to collapse this material. So I have some room to work. Start with another physical material. I'm going to go ahead and name this one Crate 2. See where out the reflections. Make the roughness 1. And then drag off of the base color map. General bitmap. And select this one. This is underscore 4. 273 underscore 4. And then we're going to add the normal map. So drag off of the bump node, general, normal bump, and then drag off the normal node, general bitmap, and select the normal map that goes with the texture you just used. And then we can go ahead and collapse this one and make everything a little neater, and then drag its output node and drop it onto the outer frame. And you can clearly see that this doesn't look good at all. And let's make one final material for the little slats here. Physical material. Let's name this Crate 3. Zero out the reflections. Make the roughness 1. And add the bitmap. General bitmap. Select the third one. And then we're going to drag off of the bump node, general normal bump, and then drag off of the normal node, general bitmap, and select the last normal map. And then collapse that one, make things a little neater, and apply this one to all of 
these boards. You can drag the output node and drop it, and it's going to ask you do you want to assign to an object or the selection. We're going to select selection and click OK. And as you can see, that doesn't look good either. So what we need to do is add some mapping, some UVW mapping, as we've done before. So let's select the outer frame, and we're going to right click and find UVW map, and we're going to make this a box map. And as you can see, that looks fine for these, but not these. So what we have to do when we come back is begin to map these other polygons so that they look correct. And I'll see you then.